Please give a warm welcome to Quentin Tarantino. Now, in my opinion, Bruce Dern is an acting national treasure. And I don't mean that as a far-flung platitude. He's an acting treasure, that goes without saying. But I'm saying he's a national treasure because Bruce Dern is one of the finest and most entertaining examples of great American acting. Full of raw vitality, grabbing your attention, never letting go, spontaneous, always looking for a moment, always looking for an opportunity to do something. Not content to being palsy wowsy with the other actors. He's trying to beat them. He doesn't need six weeks rehearsal like the Brits. He shows up on Monday on the Big Valley. He kicks Lee Major's fucking ass and he goes home. <laughs> now, back in the 70s, there was these male acting dynasties. There was the Coppola gang, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, James Caan, John Cassell. There was the Scorsese gang, Robert De Niro, Harvey Cattell. There was uh, the Cassavetes group, himself, Gazzara, Falk. But over in Los Angeles, just a little bit earlier, there was another group. And these men did biker movies and hippie movies for Roger Corman and Richard Rush, and they did every episodic TV work they got a chance to do. And these men were Bruce Stern, Jack Nicholson, Peter Fonda, and fellas that aren't here no more, like uh, Dennis Hopper and Adam Rourke. London has its mystique. New York has its mystique, but those men in the late 60s and 70s gave Los Angeles actors a good name and an example to aspire to. If you're ever lucky enough to work with Bruce Stern, you learn that there's, as a director, you can ask Bruce Stern to do something that you can't ask anybody else. And what you can ask Bruce Stern to do that you can't ask anybody else is, Bruce, um, can you give me a Dernsey? I mean, the shot needs a Dernsey. Uh, the, the scene, it just it needs, it needs a Dernsey. Like, my idea, it needs a Dernsey. Like, the, my whole fucking movie needs a Dernsey. Can you give me one? And what a Dernsey is, is a reason or an excuse to film the shot in the first place. I don't have one. Can you give me one? Well, right now, we're gonna watch a whole reel of Dernsey's. You got sand, Django. Boys got sand. Alive to Fort Grant, boy. Then I'll get you, little uh, boy. Stop, you son of a bitch. Go to hell. Turn around, I want you to see this coming. I said stop! Climbing on my dead body to get in the United States Senate, that ain't honesty, that's horseshit. You going somewhere, boy? He doesn't need our kind in town! <laughs> He's giving Ruby the jumps, and I ain't having my wife upset by no tramp like her. Go to hell, you big ape. All I need to feel is that you're with me, you know, David? Like we got something solid between us. I'm still here, aren't I? Things are pretty weird around here, you know. I gotta get off this road. Goddamn brownies. I've handled you wrong because the only thing you understand is tougher. Tougher. And you know why? Because you are stupid. She's not leaving me. Certainly not for a common swindler who'd have to steal the ring to put on her finger.
they don't get it now, they'll never get it then, and they sure as hell won't ever get fucking circumstance. Fuck, man, circumstance. Well, what are you saying? That you're not even going to make the effort? What I'm saying is I do not belong in this house, and they're saying that I don't belong over there. Come on, have a beer with your old man. Be somebody.